everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am. <sighs> okay, I'm sorry. That'll do. I won't do it again. You know, this is a blade. <laughs> <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel once again. I'm in the car with my dysfunctional family. Dysfunctional. And we are headed, well actually we're in the car because these kids won't sleep. Do we really have the money for fuel f to be doing this? No. No. No, no we don't. No. I was doing a click and collect order at home for Coles and it's already at like $299 so I just want to see if we can save some money this week on our groceries by going to the fruit and veg mart in Waterford which is where we are headed I'm going to be doing a little haul for you guys at home and then I'll show you what then what our click and collect order is going to be without that amount as always make sure that if you're new here hi and uh, subscribe <laughs> like comment share with your friends if you think they'd like this sort of thing you know and by sort of thing i mean dumpster fire of life enjoy the video and i will see you guys for the haul i suppose Okay, we are back again. I have no qualms whatsoever with hauling on my messy shit show of a table because as we know here on Boy Mum on a Budget, everything is the real deal. So <laughs> you're gonna notice from the spread before that there were mangoes here. They've both been polished off. I'm just trying to get this in a good angle because the sun is coming through. I might actually just move it over to the lounge. Okay, that's a bit better. We've got it set up on the lounge. It's probably a little bit easier to deal with a really small haul now because an apple and two mangoes have already been consumed. 46.50, I thought it was 49 something, but nope, it was 46.50, so that's really good. We've got the ladyfinger bananas. Now, the ladyfinger bananas were 4.99 a kilo. We paid $6.82 for 1.366 kilos. That is the same price basically, or possibly like 40 cents more a kilo than normal bananas are at Coles. So I just, this time I just got the lady fingers like as a little treat for the babies because they have a banana every morning. When we just had Ashton, he used to have a lady finger. So I just wanted to be able to give the babies a lady finger occasionally. No, it does not come in the house. Mummy is coming out there very, very soon, okay? The next thing is a bag of broccoli. So you pick up a bag and the bag of broccoli is $3.99. Really, really good. I got four kind of heads. Is that what you call them? Heads of broccoli? I don't know. But anyway, yeah, four heads of broccoli. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen the other day that I made little cheese and broccoli balls for the kids for lunch. So I'll be using it for that. We're using it for broccoli bacon pasta sometime this next week. So that'll be good. The next thing is the corn tray. So corn at... Okay, just wait a minute. Let's not hurt the babies. Okay. Take them over here. All right. All right, so as you can see, it is just a bit of a shit show here. Sometimes, who am I kidding, all the time. The toddler does not want to share his toys. He wants to ride his bikes. The babies want to touch everything that he's got. So, yeah. Exhibit A, we've got the baby gate here so that he can be in his playroom down there without getting disturbed. 
whatever. Anyway, let's continue. So the corn tray, we have not bought corn for quite a few weeks now because corn at Coles or Woolies or whatever is just way too expensive. This corn, the corn tray was $3.99, so four bucks for three. And that's not just three to us, that's like six or nine really because I cut them up quite small and everybody gets little pieces. So that'll go a long way. We're doing a couple of meals with meat and veg this week. So that's what those will be used for. Then we've got, oh, I found a parsnip. So it is so bloody impossible to get a loose single parsnip at Coles or Woolies. It is ridiculous. And I put them in the baby sausage roll. So I've got that. The parsnip was... $2.46. They're actually $10 a kilo. That's pretty bloody expensive, but whatever. So $2.45 technically for a parsnip, but it's worth it and I don't buy them that often. Green pears, basically Packham pears or whatever, I guess. They were really nice and big. I didn't want to get the bucket of pears like we did last time because they just took forever to get ripe and then when they did, they just didn't go very nice. So these bigger ones are usually a bit better and a bit more reliable, I guess, with their quality. The green pears were $3.99 a kilo. We paid $3.50, so kind of just under a kilo we got with those three. They're huge, so that'll last for the week. We also got a bag of snow peas. So I wanted to get like a small amount of snow peas and there was just this huge bag there. But anyway, $3.99, can't really go wrong. I'm not sure how much is in there. Oh, it's one kilo. So a kilo of snow peas for four bucks. That's pretty good because I think at Coles, the snow peas, I was paying the same thing for like 250 grams or something. It was really ridiculous. Anyway, we're going to go through what I was getting at Coles in a minute and I'm going to do a screen recording on my phone and we'll we will compare sweet potato bag two kilo bag of sweet potatoes for $1.99 couldn't go past it grabbed them they'll be good in mash or in some little like potato and carrot tots for the kids or something like that little fritters whatever I want to do during the week for their lunches granny smith apples yeah so I got one green apple for Ashton and one red apple for him today oh just you know, standing on toys as you do. Oh, I think I just broke that. So yeah, I got him a green apple. He's a weirdo. He likes to eat green apples, slice. $4.99 a kilo. So that, this apple is $1.28. And we had a huge red one as well. The apple, the pink lady apples are $3.99 a kilo. And it cost us $1.06. And they've already eaten half of that, Ashton and the baby. The next thing is the pumpkin. I just got some cut pumpkin. It was $1.99 a kilo. So $1.47 for the pumpkin. So that was pretty good. Brussels sprouts. I actually got eight, I think. Eight Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts, $9.99 a kilo. They cost us $3.80 because... We had about 380 grand. Tomatoes were 98 cents a kilo, 19 cents for that tomato. Lee is going to use that in his lunch this week. He's making a tuna mix for his lunch. Carrots, a kilo bag for 1.99. Now the two Calypso mangoes that are missing from here because they have already been devoured were $1.99 each. I originally found an R2E2 mango and I really wanted it. And I was like, you know what? I am willing to pay $2.99 for this damn mango. But then I came around the corner and the Calypso were $1.99 each. So I got a couple. Raspberries, really happy about the raspberry punnet because I've been doing pear and raspberry muffins for the babies and they just love them. They're eating so much. So the raspberry punnet was $2.99, which is great because I'm pretty sure it was $5 at Coles, as you'll see in a minute. And the last thing is the zucchinis, one kilo for $2.99 and I'm pretty sure that's way cheaper than Coles as well. So $2.99 for that bag of zucchinis, which is going to go a long way. It's going to go in the baby sausage rolls. It's going to go in the bolognese. They're going to be used for zucchini and corn fritters for their lunches. What are you doing? Basically, that is the haul, what you see there. That is it. It doesn't look like a lot, but it is. It's a, it's a good week's worth of food for us and I'm really happy with the prices. Fletchy, that naan is not ready for you to eat yet, darling. I'm just gonna fix this truck that I decided to annihilate before. Okay. 
What I'm going to do now is, now that we've gone through the little haul of our veggies, so I'm gonna do a little screen recording for you guys and I'm going to show you what I had in our Coles Click and Collect for the veggies and compare those prices. So yeah, you're about to see what's in our trolley and I'll put it up on the screen right now. So we're in the Coles app here and I am in, I think, what I've got. Now I need to get another pork mince actually because I'm going to do the sausage rolls now that I found a um, parsnip. Okay, so we already got carrots. Now, yes, that's $1.20 for the one kilo, and we paid $1.99 today, but whatever. I didn't end up getting broccolini at the other place because it didn't look really good, but we got so much broccoli, so we can remove that. And I think our starting cost was like $2.99 or something like that. So $3.50 for 150 grams of snow peas. We paid... $3.99 for a kilo. So that's pretty bloody good. Let's remove that. We're going to remove the sweet potatoes as well. $2.03 for one, I'm assuming. And then we got sweet potatoes a whole two kilo bag, didn't we? Sweet potato bag, $3.99. So that's Pretty good okay so the pumpkin removing that we've got a few other things on there that we're getting for our dinners this week got rid of the tomato so I'd say that was going to be one tomato our tomato cost us 19 cents so that's pretty good the pears, we got rid of the pears, we're getting rid of, yeah, so the bananas, let's go in and have a look at bananas. No, I don't want my time slot. Bananas, $4.90 per kilo, that's normal bananas, and I think that's what, what was it, $4.99 or something for the ladyfingers at that other place, yeah, so that's pretty good. We'll go back and remove the bananas off there. We're already down to 285, so obviously it is making a big difference so far, which is great. We still have to get the jazz apples because Lee won't eat anything else but jazz apples. So we'll get rid of the $5 raspberries as well, which is great. Get rid of the broccoli. And get rid of the zucchinis. So let's have a look at what the zucchinis are at Coles. $4.90 per kilo. We got a kilo for $2.99. So that's great. I am going to remove the zucchinis. Oh my god, I keep doing that. Oh look, we're already down to $2.69. This is making me feel so much better. I'm not 100% sure that we're actually saving as much money just because I got some different things or like more things but anyway 264.98 so far it's we're just getting like more yogurt and stuff like that because the babies are just eating so much food that we basically just have to I'm just having a scan through making sure I haven't missed anything yeah so that's our Click and collect total now, $264.98. So I'll go back and have a proper look at what it was before, but let's just say $264.98 plus $46.50, $311.48. Yeah, I'm not sure what it was before because I know I added another pool. Lee's got the kids outside. I'm going to have to go and help out in a minute. I heard the word poo and that's never a good thing. So anyway, go to mama and tell her you've got a poo. Very nice. That's what I'm dealing with. Okay. I'm not going to subject you guys to that. I will see you in my next video. Hopefully you enjoyed this and it wasn't too all over the place, but 
you know me by now, if you subscribed and you are coming back to watch another video, you obviously know how erratic I am and maybe you like it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.